morning fellow adventurers so here we are in my cold car ready to set off head to the lake for um winter social now normally there'll be three of us on the social but unfortunately it's uh it's only tuesday so my new pals chris who i'm going to meet down the lake shortly he's got some time off work where's my brother unfortunately he's at work so it'll be a two-part social I'll do this video with Chris and then there'll be a follow up once I can get out on the bank with my brother before Christmas. So I'm about to set off now, get down the lake, get set up and hopefully it'll be a good uh, 24 hour session and hopefully we can get some fish out on the bank for you to see. So until then, I'll catch up with you soon. Hello fellow adventurists, join us now in session, down by the lake, we're all set up, ready to go. So we have now with us my good pal Chris Jones, um, we go way back, we're school friends. We came up through angling the exact same way, we started on the rivers and uh, I say we stuck together while we were moving on through our angling careers, moving on to carp fishing. So, yeah, it's nice to obviously have a catch up now, you know, family life and things and, and stuff goes on. But uh, we always do try and get the uh, few sessions in, so here we are now, just my social. So, yeah, happy days. So how do you think we're going to get on this session? This session, I don't know, I think it's looking good, to be fair. Yeah. Um, conditions are not too bad, are they, really? For the time of year. No, it's fine, man. It's quite mild. Uh, it's mild. We've got southwesterly winds. So I'm feeling awful. Yeah. I don't think we're blank. I think we'll get get at least a chance each. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, yeah, it would. It'd be nice to get, yeah, get one or two. So yeah, spot your fishing it's in a good area, aren't you? Yeah, Bad yeah. Lake. I mean, the peg I'm fishing, it's uh, it's peg twenty on this uh, specific lake that we're fishing at the minute, and um, it's like a bird sanctuary, sort of a bit like out of bounds area. Uh, twenty four wraps, uh, you need to be fishing, and um, yeah, fish pretty much up to the out of bounds area. Um, a couple of solid bags, away you go. Yeah, it's definitely uh, a hot area, isn't it, throughout the year? Yeah, always, throughout always the way, do. yeah. Do well off that. Yeah, definitely. Same in where I am next door on 19, just into open water, it does well. So yeah, it's a very good pick as well, isn't it? Yeah, Almost. hopefully we'll we'll manage something. So yeah, I mean that's us for now. We'll just uh, gonna have a have a chill, and hopefully uh, we'll get a bite this way. I mean it'd be nice to get a take live, but it's not really the right time of year for that. I mean could have the camera set up rolling for ages, but. We will, uh, we'll get it eventually. We'll yeah, it eventually. it will happen, it will happen. So, so yeah, I think it's uh, probably time to get the kettle on, I think, isn't it? Yeah, get the kettle on, sounds good. Yeah. Catch up with you all soon. So, just a quick uh, intro to the lake as well. Let's turn that kettle off. Yeah, so this lake, it's um, a park lake. So behind us, you've got the power station and surrounding us everywhere is the housing estates now it's set in the middle of Billingham so it's uh, it's ran by Billingham Angling Club obviously it's council owned so it's a, it's a public park you've got you know, everyone sort of mooching around it's stuffed with fish it's only probably about uh, 8 acres maybe in size it's got I have no idea really the stock 500 fish at least so it's, it's a good runs water it's a good uh, a good place just to kick back and relax you know after you know hard, hard campaign fishing you know when you're on it all the time it's good it's good just to come and chill out and put a bend in the rod so yeah it's uh, 
it should be good for a bite, definitely. I'm just watching the water there, I thought something fish would not that if it was a bird. So yeah. But you say conditions are good for it. I think it's not uh, it's not too cold yet. But plenty of time. Plenty of time to get one. Um just about there. Uh, warm up there and mulled wine as well for the social, you know, it wouldn't be Christmas without a, a nice mull. So I'm just gonna get the pan on now and get that sorted. Get this wrapped, 18 wraps. Eighteen. Mm. That's stuck on there. Loop the loop. I always find it easier. PV a bag fishing. Oh, see it there. Nice firm bag. I always like to put a bit of putty on on the knot as well. Help it all sit, sit a bit nicely on the deck. And hopefully, we can get this out without cracking off. Finger stall. All right, hopefully, this, uh, this goes to plan. A fishing up an open water spot that have uh, produced. A couple of bites on before previously when I fished here. So get that out there and then we'll see. Perfect. Okay guys, so I was going to quickly run you through my PVA bag rig. I'm not going to teach you how to suck eggs and now I've tied it up. There's lots of tutorials out there of uh, how to do them. But basically, nice four, four and a half inch, as you can see there. So, nice and short for the bag. Stick that in there. Open it up. a little bit in so the uh, hook doesn't pierce the bag or anything drop it in sit 
sits up nice, just like that. Yeah, fill a little bit more. Just like the dunk, dunk the lead in. Press it all down. So a little bit more in. There we go. Get it evenly. Evenly spread best you can. For long range fishing, if I was fishing a long way out, I'll uh, put the lead to the bottom so then obviously the weight of the lead isn't trying to pass through the pellet, which is often a mistake a lot of people make, you know, you're trying to fish at range and the bag's sort of giving it, giving it this, it's because obviously the weight's forward, but as I'm not, not fishing a long way out get away with doing it like this. A few taps, Got some turn in it, it's get it nice and tight. These are the extra small bags that I'm using, the corder ones. I don't mind which bag I use, either the corder or the fox. But yeah, that's up and all right. Keep hold of that. Peel out a bit of tape. And then just go around a couple of times. A bit awkward this, I normally put it in my knee. Squash the corners in. Fold it over, make it a bit more neater, streamlined. Give it a good old cowlick. It's alright. Trim the top a bit neater. Careful not to uh, cut your leader. I've not done it yet. Pretty careful, but it'll be easy done. And that. This is my finished bag. Do for a mouthful, especially this time of year. Happy days. Yeah, Mr. Jones's swim. Just doing a reach up now. Tying his bag on. Same again, just loop the loops. Nice and easy, nice and quick. Yeah, 
that sorted. More dramas. Big chuck on this one. 24 wraps, so just shy, shy of 100, 100 yards. Right out there towards the uh, the bird sanctuary. He, he probably can't make it out on the camera. I, for whatever reason, I can't zoom in on the uh, GoPro while it's recording. But there's there's a few posts out there, and that's obviously your marker bound. But yeah, he's ready to go. Ready to go. He's ready to go. Take that clip. Hopefully, you'll get it out there first time, nice and easy. No dramas, but it'll be funny if he cracks off. So it was nice to get that on camera. Watch where uh, I'm standing, don't want to get too close. That bag comes back and hits me. Oh, he's flung it straight out. Wow. Bang on. Wow. That was that move. Definitely not wrong with that, George. On the money. Well, can't do much more than that than put it on the dinner plate for him, can I? No, nah, mate, it's bang on that. Bang on. Just look with the fish now. That's a good lob, that. Right, time for me to uh, have a reshuffle as well. Well, Chris has managed to go and do it just as we were considering packing up, bringing the rods in. It got us a run. So we will get hopefully get to see a fish on the bank. It's been a long time coming, I think, hasn't it? Certainly has. Didn't think we were going to get away with it. Well over 24 hours with the, with the rigs in the water. Unbox the present. Yes, definitely. The prize. That's a nice girl, isn't it? That one and that one. That's lovely. Nice winter colours on it. Actually got a mouth, which is always good. Pink doing the do. Always. As always. Right guys, that concludes our uh, trip, our winter social. So unfortunately no fish for myself, but uh, Chris managed to save the blank and uh, give us a little bit of action anyway for the film. So that's always always good. So it was alright though, wasn't it? It was good. It was nice to be out, cold conditions. Uh, it's a shame we're going home today really because the conditions yeah. are a bit bit warmer today. And yeah, I think we'd have got into them a bit more, wouldn't we, if we stayed on? Yeah, it was only this morning that we started seeing a Bosch and I, I managed to winkle one out. So it's a shame we're going now, but Always the next time. Yeah, it was always the next time. Definitely. So. And uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll see you again, Ventures, on the next video that I'm on. Yeah, won't be the last video you'll be on. There'll be plenty coming over, especially next season. We'll get into this a bit more. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Bye for now. See ya.